Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything, and I wanted to do a continuation of my last video on uh, T-Mobile Home Internet. First one, I did a lot of talking as to why I got this, how you apply for it, uh, kind of walk through with that, and then the unboxing. And this is the router I'm getting. This is the uh, newest router they offer for March 2022. And uh, I got everything hooked up, plugged in, it's just power and it connected to the network. Uh, we're on 5G. We're actually getting four bars, which is good because it's just down near the floor, not even by the window. So that's encouraging. Um, now, the, sorry, the, the quality is not going to be the best. I'm recording with my iPad here, so it's just on the keyboard. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my phone to do this. I do think the app works on the iPad. Uh, the app, that's why I'm making this video. I had a lot of one-star reviews, people saying that it didn't work. I'm willing to say most of it, they probably just don't know what they're doing. I'm not super fond or familiar with networking. I do understand computers though. So I think I, if I can get this to work, it should be fine. If I can't get it to work, then there probably is something wrong. Uh, you have the QR code here. I'll maybe for people that just wouldn't know to type it in, I'll go ahead and it's opening in Chrome, but I do believe it was that same app. So it's probably just going to redirect to the app store here. Okay, so that's really all it's doing. So you really don't need to use this QR code. Uh, and since I have terrible uh, Verizon DSL, I'm going to switch to my LTE from T-Mobile. Again, you can see uh, the reviews. I guess I'm not really exposed here, right? The reviews are pretty bad, so, and I'm sure people are leaving the app bad reviews just because the service isn't working right because they're probably in an area that's not fully developed for it yet, maybe. Okay, and uh, I'll cut out anything or if I have to include uh, my login info or anything. So, okay, so I need to turn my Wi-Fi back on. So I'm going to say we'll have to go with OK. This is iOS, obviously. I wouldn't think Android would be much different, if at all. And I'll go to set up device. And we should have everything here working, hopefully, anyway. OK, so I don't even know if they offer the LTE. I know T-Mobile seems to be, I think they are the leader with uh, converting everything to 5G. So I think this is all you can get to the 5G gateway. I'll give a six. I mean, if I run into a problem. Now there's a QR code on the back. So that's what it wants to, I guess, to sign into that uh, particular router. I thought that QR code was just the, the same as this one, but it's not. So I'll show you where it's at. It probably shouldn't show it, but I'll, I'll cover some of it up. So it's right here on the back of it. <clears throat> and I guess that uh, model number there just shows when this particular router was made. But your QR code's on the top right of the sticker on the bottom of the router by the SIM card door. And I'll go ahead and scan that. I'm not sure if that's just my router's SSID or something. Okay. I'm already connected to power. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm already up and running, as you can see, because I turned it on and we actually... Okay, so I'm assuming we're ready, so we'll go ahead and skip. I'm pretty sure on that. It honestly looks like it's already up and running. So, 
they did say that it, you'd have to do a firmware update when you received it. And now I don't have a signal, so I'm assuming it is. I'm not sure if it was already set up or that they did it on their end or something wrong. So this is the SSID, which I guess that doesn't matter, and the password's hidden here, and I believe it's on the back of the thing anyway, so it doesn't really matter, and I'll probably change it anyway. But let me see. Oh, let's see, I'm scared to death here. It's not letting me submit. I don't think this is a T-Mobile thing, but I remember, again, this is probably redundant for some people, but I'm just going to skip through it or speed it up or something if you don't care about the detail. But I believe on the App Store with the bad reviews, a lot of them said you couldn't get past this Wi-Fi, that whatever, logging into it. And I don't think this is a T-Mobile thing. I think this is an iOS thing. Now, I use an older version of iOS. I'm still on 14. But I've noticed this a lot of times when I use an autofill, which this is what that did, probably from that QR code on the back or maybe just logging in, it pulled this up. So I didn't type this in. And when you have keychain or something on your iPhone and it auto fills it, a lot of times it's, it's grayed out. You have to, so what I did is I just went up here, I deleted that four and I put it back in and then it caused it because it views it as you actually typed it in. If you didn't go in here and change anything, it doesn't view it as the um, forms being filled out or something. I don't know if you can follow that, but if it's grayed out, just delete that last um, digit, whatever it'll be, and put that exact same one back in. And now we'll try submit. So I'm wondering if other people got hung up on that or if that's just a bug with uh, the older version of iOS that I'm using or if that's still a thing. I don't know. Good. Join that popped up. So I'm just changing the pass password. Okay, so some things I'm observing. Okay, now they're mirroring each other. You can see now I'm 4G of one bar. I'm going to disregard that because for the duration of the last video and this one, we were 5G, good signal. And again, it's down on the floor, so it's really not by the... And I'm not sure if this firmware updating, if it even did it. Or whatever you can see it's bouncing around I'm not worried about that because I know I should have a good signal at some point here so maybe right now I think what I'll do is I'll take this off camera I might move it closer to a window or I'll just unplug it and see what happens and see if it reconnects to a, a 5g again before I go any further but I'm wondering if if I shut this off if I'll lose where I'm at here but I'll let you know when I try it so all i did was unplugged it and plugged it back in so now we're back on 5g three bars i'm not it was fine until i started the initial thing I, i'll rewatch the video so i don't think i'm probably going to lose connection that off it's probably just setting it up but just switched bands or something but since i restarted this now this is where it needs to be i'm wondering if my phone needs to be reconnected via wi-fi to it so I might have to go out of the app, which seems to be, okay. I don't think it's letting me go because I think it's not connected. So let me connect again. So I'm going to pick that T-Mobile one again, which is probably where I was at prior to messing with this. And uh, all it did was it, as soon as I reconnected, so if you didn't have your band get switched and screwed up, you probably wouldn't have had the poor thing pop up and it would have went straight to this. Uh, since some of this was off camera, what I did was unplug this, plugged it back in, we're back where we should be, but the phone was connected to my other internet so I went into settings, 
reconnected to this router, which should already have been done in the last step, so you should be able to just pick it from your list and go straight in. And since the connection's good now, it's set up. And again, I'm not in a good spot. I could put it closer to the window, uh, put it in the living room, I could put it in any room I want. Uh, I think for the probably first good while, I would just be connecting everything directly to it, seeing how it performs, maybe moving it around. Be easier to keep it with all my stuff, but I might put it out in the living room and uh, be more center of the house, be fine. But so this is just in the app. I would assume you theoretically could be done with the app and never really use it again because it, it, this is booted up and set up. So you could connect your laptop, your Xbox, whatever, as you would regularly do. You want to make sure you have your password because I changed it. I might change it again. I might change the entire name of the gateway. Um, so I have my iPhone connected and nothing else yet. Okay. I'm not sure if all of those are placeholders because the password I picked was shorter than that or if that's still the old one. And then this is basically something you can do on their website. And I already set up uh, the day I got I signed up for this. If you're an existing T-Mobile, I'm sure it's easier, but I'm new. So I had to wait. It wouldn't let me use the email right away. But after maybe like six, eight hours, I got an email saying my account was ready and I could use that email to make an uh, account. Uh, there's your user's guide. Again, sorry, the quality is probably not that good on this iPad. Um, so I won't be showing that because that's the, the, I, the you know, IMEI and everything. Don't think anything there. I mean, it might, maybe it'll show like the middle of spot that I'm in so you can come attack me or something, but. And then there's where you can change your password. I don't know if you can change the gateway's name. I, I'll fool around with that later. That's not something that the average person is gonna be concerned about. And if anyone does want to, they already know that, they probably know how to do it. So I'll fool around and see if I can change that. But I think I'm gonna leave it here. I probably went a little too long. Uh, actually, the last thing I'd like to do. Uh, so it shows <clears throat> the device, messages, language, and interesting that I'm still connected, but it says no internet. So I actually see if I can pull up a website really quick. So yeah, right now that is, now it just switched back to 5G. So that's interesting. I'm not too worried about it for the purpose of this. And I'll go ahead and do a speed test. And now it says no internet again. So I think I'll leave it here. You can see I got everything set up and it did work, but it might not be in the greatest spot. So I'll, I'll and who knows if this, since this area was just approved, they might still be tinkering with some stuff. So I'm not too worried about it. I know once it does work, it'll be better than what I had. So I'm gonna leave it there. Hopefully this helps you set up the router because I assume you have to use that app on your phone. Yeah, this was for iOS. I would imagine Android's about the same, but if I can help, let me know. At least I tried to show the steps I went through and the one problem I ran into. And then I guess, let me know if you have that problem there too. I'll play around with that, move this around, restart it. But uh, thanks for watching. I'll make some videos in the future, maybe with gaming, hooking up some other routers, the airports, and uh, hopefully some interesting content to help anyone else out. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with or any uh, info you have for me. So thanks for watching, and you'll see me in the next one. Have a good one.